Okay, so we're we'll taking another shab the Agdama here. The the Hashem Ashnisho of our we have to still explain. Lama lama lu lo yel chaluim achirim al parei basvaro. Why they conclude in according to the Hashem Shita that Arnochi is not a tzivui, but rather it's los lo yel chal los asel chvuchal pesbolt muna. What about lo yel chaluim achirim al parei? That should be a third one. They can shlosh ourselves by dibaru. Make three more three prohibitions in the first two dibaros. It's every shi's barbekal. That's easy. If these beliefs were those which had uh, no no uh, 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 in, involved in them, uh, uh, this, they can't, you can't warn against them. If there is a warning, they can't warn against them. If there is there is a warning, they can't warn against them. If there is a warning, they can't warn against them. If there is a warning, they can't warn against them. If there is a warning, they can't warn um, the, um, the, the, so, uh, if you accept it, they lower the but that's the case. They're the same thing because you have to accept that what is in order to be higher for bowing down to it. So, implies once you got to it means that is taking place. So, it has to be one lot. Right, because the root of both is the same. It's accepting the other God. Even though uh, he didn't uh, uh, serve it and didn't accept it as a God. That's what he called it. Not like the Rambam. is not a mitzvah. is the now, Hashem says, since the Semuna is the root and the, the beginning of all the Munas in the Torah and Munas, and Mitzvah, they rush not correlate. We should analyze it. Often, I mean, the same with Shor Shazet and how we come to this root. But since some and the Munas, which the Torah demands of us, are Cornerstones and foundations for all the mitzvahs. And there are those who are not cornerstones and foundations. Avlim does a mitzvah, but they're true nonetheless. But they're all going to be emunos. At which, which a person believes in the divine Torah will. Man's first show does not tell him, and some of them are logical, even if they're not demanded by the Torah. Uh, but somebody doesn't believe that it's not called a kofir. So, and we want in this to talk about those which are um, foundational and those which are cornerstones, those which are the uh, perspectives of the divine Torah. So, he divides his mama into four parts. First is in. The first first root, which is the belief of Kodesh Baruch Hu, which is the basis for all the uh, Torah and Muna, uh, beliefs. Sheiv and Muna Shem Pinos Yisos Chamitzos. The second is in the Munos, which are cornerstones and foundational for the mitzvahs in general. But Shlishi Ba Deos Sar Amidios, and the third part is going to be with true perspectives. I should not mean by Manachu Mim Torah Lokis, but which we believe, even though they're not foundational. And the Levi B'Sfar Shadas Until then, the fourth is going to be on. The things which the well, logic dictates that they should be true. We may open out the evil of Amish Day Rachim. There are two pathways here. Echo being young of Yimacha, the Xrea Torah, explaining them based on what the Torah decrees upon us, but shame of an outsider of how we understand them. The Stabach Shmon and his name be praised. Now, Mamar Aleph, um, uh, we um, uh, delved into it and we decided that it's uh, kind of like the Shara Yichun Chavos of Avos. It's complete philosophy and kind of boring philosophy of that. And therefore, uh, it's beyond our uh, scope. And we're going to skip the, the, uh, that, the first, uh, the, ma- the Shora Sharisha stuff. And we're going to go to the second Mamar. Uh, that means we're going down to, I mean, not the second Mamar, we're going to skip the Cloud Risha. We're scrolling down here.
If you want to know about these things, you can look at in the Gemara Nebuchim, in the second Chalik in the Agdama. These are the, 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 um, the, those Akdamas of the Rambam are uh, what the Or Hashem discusses here at great, great length. And here we, uh, he has the Parakashini. And Parakashlishi, and it's also the whole crop we're going to skip. Parakazi, Parakamishi, Parakashishi, Parakashi, Parakashmini. She in Perkasiri, get there eventually. Perka Kalasar, Ekshlevasar, Ekshlevasar, Perka Vasar, Perka Mishasar, I don't think it's cold as much. Perka Shishasar. Shiva star, Akshmana star, Akisha star, Pakistan, Pakistan, the Hans and Shayan, Sinishalosh, Sila Arbas, and the Hamesh, and the Shashis and Sheva. Oh, yeah, we got there. Hey, Sam Akala. Akala Shani. Oh, no, no, this is still the same thing. No, this is still about the end. No, we have to get the Mimer Shani. Um, Shani Shani. I am ashamed. Okay. Amar Marashini, this page starts on page Kufchav Gimel. Marashini, the pinos are terios. So Hashem is solus from Mutni Shabbos or Kim Nachon Aleim. Once you once you got to a, to a Munah Nakos Baruch which is Mamar Rishon, now we have to go to the other Munahs, which are which are uh, basic and principles Asher Beis or Kim Nachon Aleim upon which the House of God stands. It's Yusam Yitzir, and in their um, and in their uh. With if they if if they exist, we term it tzias at Torah. Am suderes me spark, then we can follow through on the existence of Torah. If they don't exist, the uitzar adir chas me'am. If these misses do not exist, keep our Torah bechol cholil the Torah would fall apart chas bishol. Shechalkano by mitzum shisha. We have found six basic principles. Chas idias Hashem manim so that God knows what's happening in the world. Hasheni ashka chosa bohem. He pays attention to what's happening in the world. Shlishi Chol, the third is his capacity. Aravi had the vua, the fourth one is the vua. Achamishi Bechira, free will. Vashishi Tachlis, purpose. So um, this is a, a very different than the Ramam's 30 principles, but of, co- uh, uh, of course there are going to be parallels between them. Vizet Lamad. The, the Torah is a, uh, a, a, a uh, act which was given uh, by with the will of the command the uh, the that commander 
who, who, was, at, who was active, El Ametsuba, to the com command did, who, upon whom the Torah acts. Now, this, that there should be such a Torah is, is, is compelling uh, uh, logic. And this is the reason why this has to exist is because the, uh, the entity which, uh, uh, which is acting and knows er, 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 uh, want, wants and, and has the capacity and we want at the same time the, the entity which is commanded to want and choose not to be compelled and forced. So the only, if Hashem could compel and force everybody to do his will, that will, and that would be direct compulsion. But if you want the entity to, um, meaning mankind, presumably, to be to act out of their own volition, so then it can't, there can't be direct uh, manipulation of mankind. Now, since the since this act, which is from the actor to the actee, we translate literally. Uh, 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 this is uh, since it relates to the poel. Anyway, let me see. So, uh, uh, well, actually. Since the po let me rephrase that. Since the, the act, which comes from an actor to the actee, anyway, let me see my name means that there has to be some relationship between the two of them, between the actor and the actee. There's got to be some relationship and some connection between them. Which obviously is Nebuah. And since every act, uh, which is whether natural or artificial, Koshkin with Sony, and certainly one which happens uh, out of uh, the will of the uh, actor. When we pull out about Tachlis uh, and it comes from the uh, actor who has infinite and perfection, the Tachlis uh, Yadua must come for, uh, 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 as it's all acts come for a purpose. Certainly, the act from Akash Baruch has to come for a specific purpose. And there's it's no way you can avoid saying that this act, which in itself should be perfect, is for a, for a special distinguished purpose. So we have six clothes in here. So, you know, it's interesting because I don't know if the Ram, the Rambam doesn't seem to have this idea of tachlis being intrinsic to the Yugimu Midos, to the Karim of the Torah. But Reb Chazai says, no, uh, uh, Tachlis. You have to believe that there's a Tachlis. Otherwise, what's the purpose in everything? And it's not logical. It doesn't make sense that the a creator who's perfect would not create, have some, pur 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 some purpose in mind in creating and, of course, then giving the Torah to us. Okay, so... Uh, a cloud we show is BDS Hashem Hanim Tzos. Um, not sure what that means. Knowledge of the name of those which is, that which exists. Zamnam in the Bira Pina Zosi Mavida Senu Ba. This is uh, in both our uh, expl explaining this cornerstone and how we know it. We shall bring you something to me there, Hamas. Since uh, many philosophers, well, I'm uh, sorry, of course, I'm, I'm the blocky. Sorry, that God knows of our existence and is concerned with it, right? Bidias Hashem, God knows, and so that which is named. Now he says, Pisha Bay philosophy, not to be there. Many philosophers, of course, the ancient Greek philosophers held that the gods. Or God couldn't care less what happens below, right? They're not interested. They don't know what's going on unless they, for some reason, decide to get engaged. And they try to negate this cornerstone as the true Masora has uh, 
give it Gantzas mi chachmei umoseinu. And even some of the sages of our nation, the Balayun, who were thinkers, not only Gantzas were intended to the, the Greek perspective in this a little bit. They chaput vremish lokein and they started piling up stuff which is not true. Even because of our pinazos, so therefore in this principle we want to explain this cornerstone, Kashpia Shatik Zoya Torah, as it's already created. Bastia Soshadim were the contradictions that they that they conjecture. Latias Fekos and to remove doubts. Lashiva Sher Al Sher Khajbu to respond to that which they thought. We will open you the Yosef bin Azos and to explain how we know about the scores. Zayn al Khalika Klaus El Khamish Khalaki. So this that's this cloud. In the Sashem Nim Tonos has five parts. A bear of Yisham Bibir, Hapina Zos Kisha Tik Zaya Torah. What the Torah tells us please about this point. A bear of Shem Bir is fake. Shem 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 the questions of which a person might have on this cornerstone, and uh, on account of which the legs of some of our chachamim stumbled and came to wrong conclusions. A parakash lishi bevirach sveikos yosef hazokos emashichibu apinasos. Okay, I guess there are even greater sveikos, which the devil deals with afterwards. A parakvi behetar sveikos resolving sveikos. Which they put into this course to be the Asatera. Perkamishi by me, the same Pinazos, which they must have. We know this with perfection. A perkarishim, the beer Pinazos, the Fia Shetik Zoyato. Knowing this cornerstone based on what the Torah decrees. Before who, it's, it's clear, Kamosh Kadam, as we preceded, should not say Torah by Messiah, or say Zbark, that the, the entity which gave the Torah and arranged it may be blessed. Mukhli Bechre Shiodem, Ashi Tsubab Sidia, you've got to know. What he commanded and what he arranged. From open idea, so needs to come from a portion of the rock. But how he knows what uh, uh, um, uh, what what he commands is a very this in strange. <laughs> there are different ways of interpreting it. So we the as we understand, the Torah requires three things. So we shall the also means by my canvas by Masha in Taku. So Hashem's knowledge envelops everything; it has no limit. God knows things that do not exist. That is the question. That God would know the, 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 the parts of what's possible without changing the nature of it being possible. So how's it work? I know from the Torah. That which God knows the details. Whether you, in the myriad stories in the Torah itself. And in the specific mitzvahs. And if in the ultimate um, destinies. In terms of the Mesorah, so it's possible to, to learn out from the Masora, right? Because um, because many psukim. God uh, demands or uh, or expounds all the hearts. And all the yitzorim of the thoughts he understands. You need a mizmor. Hashem chakartani bateida. Hashem, you analyze me and you know. If so it, 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 it talks at length about the details of God's knowledge. And all the mizmor is based on this. It's That God knows and perceives the details. It says, You know when I rise, uh, when I sit and when I rise. You, you gazed at my uh, my uh, uh, I, 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 maybe means friend, maybe means something else, but at a distance. Or he very busy race my pathway and my uh, my, uh, my my uh, I'm not sure Rivi means here. It could be, usually it's translated as is my seed. In other words, my children. So we say you scattered. And all my pathways you um, 
Iskanta doesn't mean here dangerous, but rather you um, were you were concerned with them. And all the other children which are on this map, Mismar, Morim has Sogosu Tachlis Dikta Kaprotim. Indicate Shem knows um, the ultimate uh, 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 nuances of the details. Chashi's bar is then, this is this is the clear. Gum Vorme Aprotim, we also have Baal Tachlis. And since we know that the details are limitless, so God's knowledge must envelop all this, and also must be limitless. And that's the first principle. Second principle, so God knowing not, that which doesn't exist. My Udim Bamash alone saw us. Um, this is uh, clear from the Torah and the Beam when it talks about the ultimate destinies which didn't exist at the time that the Torah described them, such as the Tochacha, right? It describes the ghost, which indicates Hashem knows that which is not, that has not yet taken place, that which is not named saw. So. But the problem is that the several psukim Torah would seem to indicate that Hashem does not know ahead of time that which does not yet exist in practice. Come on, like it says, Hashem says, I'm going to go down to stone and see if they did like the cries coming up to me in the gate or not. So what about there? If the God doesn't know it, doesn't uh, 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 the future or certain things are. He has to go and analyze. He doesn't know them automatically. Well, that's the old catch-all and the convenient answer, which actually happens to work, which is that the Torah speaks to human beings in their language. And uh, since it speaks to human beings in their language, so therefore, it, Hashem writes about himself as if he doesn't know until he checks it out. Now, okay, that's about things which, which don't yet exist. Maybe it's about the future, but certainly things which already exist. You know, so it didn't show that Lemmy Manu, Mishad Shah, Lo Yedia, Lo Acharka. And now it's not possible that um, something is concealed from him and, it, uh, and he comes aware of it afterwards. From Hashem's perspective. Elishazeya Bemar Nevoa. But when he's speaking to, uh, when he's saying this thing about Psalm, he's talking about, he's talking in a prophecy. He's talking a prophecy. He uses human language. And that which he says also, similarly to Now I know that you are Yerelokim. Which was an Abraham Abino is awake. At the time of that Kedah, I don't know he knows that. Moshe Bar Kabbalah Mitis, he says, there's a true Messiah about that. So, the, I would not have this difficult, but Rav Chasta does, obviously. How can you say that Abraham Abinu got that statement in the Nebuah? And of course, that's Yiba Tuk Loshim Yodam, because it says, now I know. He was wide awake, and there's no Nebuah when you're wide awake. Okay, so in order to explain, it says, Musa Akama, stop the one. Prefatory remark. Verse of Philosophia Medinis, which is uh, clear in, I guess, um, popular philosophy. The Omeris, it says, Shamasim Yaknut Huna Umido Fuaba Nefesh, which is that things that you do bestow upon you a character, characteristic, character, a characteristic, and a set Mida in the soul. The Koshkin Shi Chaskos, and they certainly fortify it. It might so clear for me to acquire if it already existed before. Because in this Yashua Sosakama, if we accept this pre- the prefatory assumption, Omar, I'll say, she ain't so fake, there's no doubt. She may also have run gum kodem masa keda. Since I've run before in form masa keda, Yira Sashem upon him, Yad Yira Sashem, Negamacha masa in his cask of an absolute Yira. So, Yad Yira beforehand, so then this Misa strengthens Yira. Most of them are dragon and at a level. Zen for Shlois of Madrigo says, Knea lo kodem amase. So it's clear 
that this he didn't have this level before back here. Kasher Yosa came. So then, and since this that so what happened? But Yomro Yirelo came. Then that which I said now Yirelo came. Come on, Madrei do Eitz Hashem. You are now a certain a uh, uh, different level. They were before from Hashem's perspective. That in Eitz and some of that when that it's true true to say Kiyadai that Yirelo came Akra. Now I know that you are in a madrega. In other words, now it's revealed. You're madrega. The shikor ma'asu before that the akeda lo yabosa madrega shikim ba bomer kimato was not that level described as kielu kimato. The lo yashal shayal no dalu adover bechiv v'mashoya. He couldn't know. It couldn't be known. That he would be, he was otherwise from that which he was. But it was known before and that he's going to be Reelokim and whatever comes up. Even though he's not yet on that Madrega, which will be on, we actually ask them to go a test. So we say that there was, of course, Abraham was Reelokim before that came, but it was in a different level. And perhaps it could be perceived that we hadn't fully grasped Abraham Avinu's level yet, and we need Akea to grasp it. And we also learned that Adam Ajayi does not yet on that level in, in practice. He does his bar mashalonim so davar mukhiya bechreya. So that the Hashem's idea is that which is, doesn't exist is compelling, and it's only about Avram Avinu. I tell you that from his, his perspective. We know Shani has the second thing. So he didn't address this issue of it not being in a boor. I don't know what he's. I don't know what he's saying here. If he, uh, maybe I got it wrong. Maybe he's not concerned with the fact that it was during the daytime, even though he used language for Hoya uh, Bakitzbemasa Keda. And I thought that was bothering him, but it seems that that's not bothering him. It's actually bothering him is that Toyadati. Now, how could there just be this prog- progression in God's knowledge of something he didn't know before? And his answer is no. Avraham Avinu had this trait before. It was a Tchuna Omida Kvo Banefesh. But it wasn't brought, uh, it wasn't something which was no da. It wasn't something which became, uh, which became known until he actually went through an activity where this w- uh, had to be manifest. And there's nothing to do with Hashem's idea, even though that's the Lord Shem Adam, which he used in the poster, but it has to do with people's idea of the level of, Hash- of, of Rabino. And even have Rabino's of Rabino's level, uh, knowledge of his own level. So I, I don't think that I, I think I was wrong. I don't think it's the Nabu aspect which is bothering him. I think it's okay with Nabu being while Abraham being was awake at least. But rather it is the idea of Atoya Dati and his explanations. Atoya Dati is relative to Abraham Abinu. Now it's the essence of because Baruch who says, and now I have uh, uh, demonstrated Kirelu Kimatu. Not now I know, but now I have demonstrated it. Again, it's not phrased that way. It's, that's because Lashem Yadam, but that's the meaning. Ulam Ashlishi, the third principle. We you the also is Baruch lechelke Avshin. So my ideas have gas achik echad. We built this she stand and teva Avshin. Okay, so this is the question: How can God know? And that's not and that not affect what is possible to occur. Vuvarachiv lefi al Torah. And this is, has to be true according to Torah. Is that? She might say the Yossi's book, Machrachas, a Chedeku, I know that slow. If God's knowledge would compel that detail, which he knew, and he looked upon Saba, Mitzvah says, Zazar, how can you command mitzvahs and warnings in the Torah? Kain Derek let Saba, Lamitzuba, there's no way you can have a command to an entity which is commanded, El Chuhunach, Hamitzuba, Ritzuni, unless we assume that the command commanded is possesses Ratzoi, will. He's not compelled to do something. That's good. Even though it's paradoxical. Even though 
if his his knowledge would compel that detail, he nay who im came built he Um then it's not possible, it's necessary, right? Built the F it's into it, we use it, F is not the way it's normally used nowadays. It, it wouldn't be F Shari, we would say nowadays, right? But the way he's saying is that it, it wouldn't be F it'd be Mukha. Zesha F Shar, F Shashim would say because if something is possible, it's possible that it will happen or not happen. We are Chelak and Chomukha, and then that detail was necessary. He nailed built the F it's not a possibility. <laughs> so we have to, uh, um, the other hand, we assume that's a possible. Imkain Yukab Shluti Yadi also, Bagos of Chelak Echad, Machras, Machrachas, and Teb Absher. So it must be that his knowledge doesn't compel nature. Ruin Yana Ashlisha, that's the third thing. Okay, uh, uh, he didn't explain why. These three things are are, are uh, defined in that mizmor perfectly. And then we show first one is clarified because it's clear some mizmor. Moshe Kadam, as we said before, it was so far it's time. Brahma Loni Chad Atzmi Yemeka, my essence is not hidden from you. I shall say see but say so what I did in secret. We can't talk to those arts. I wove in the in the bottom of the land. Go miro and echo my form was seen by eyes. But super go kolam say my on your book. Everybody's written. Yamimi Utsaru Velo Echad Bahem. Days were created, and not one among them, I guess, is hidden. Fishimasaurus actually, um, like he says here, there's a pre exceed. Fishimasaurus Loba Aleph, Mamikro Loba Bob, Yeshin Shoshnean. Right, the dash in both of them. So, Inam Sarsi Josh Lefanob. So, the way it's written, it goes in what it says before. Meshav el lo nichad. What's going on? Lo nichad, not hidden, right? Means that we take a chami kapatim shiyischar lo nichad mimenu. There's no any one of those details which is hidden from him. The mikra dirish that small, and the way he read it with the mikra, which is lower than above, you dash it to itself. Lo mar shebechina so below to Hashem im riba yadir sehem that he has so many. Uh, so much knowledge, who echo by him? He's there's nobody else like him, he's unique. Now, but he knows, say no, from our perspective, one more hack of the cuz says afterwards, believe my accrue echo hell. Um, how precious to me is your connection to me? So that Hashem knows everything, great detail, it's clear in that he heals. So that which you know, things which don't yet exist. Even though the word is not in my mouth, you got no element. What I have about, I'm going to speak, which I haven't yet spoken. I don't remember it. I don't remember it because I don't know it yet. And you know, know you know all of it. Is there anything else about see? Shows you know the future. We need a shady, the second year. Who mashlish the third year, who shloti a diosa machrachas or epshar. That his knowledge does not compel something which is only supposed to be possible. Before Matt's Mo, it's clear in itself, not with the pussing necessarily. Masha Misa, I say, you're so many sad because it seems that this tea was based on he's not so slow on David and Melch's apology. Now, you are me a on Shay Damim on the days which we which he he was uh, uh, connected to bloodthirsty people. My nephew's bitter people, Kalish Asha Nosha, and people who were uh, uh, debtors who owe people money. That's why he, he praises God in terms of his knowledge. That God knows what's deep in his heart, fear enough, and his hidden thoughts. And in a, in a poetic manner, he began, he said, Hashem Chakartani. Shem, you analyze me or you, you examine me, but they die and you know. You chuck up a darsh, you don't know. Ziva Kosh analyzed and examined to know David's uh, issues. For you don't call him like him. And Hashem knew that beforehand. Right? You're Muslim, Ashu, but MS Bad Smoke. That MS Bad Smoke, this loose that which is Hakartani in the past. 
by Peda means you know the future from what you knew, uh, 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 just like you knew the past. So it shows that uh, this MS, she the Yosef Tumor building with Chesed, that his knowledge is uh, uh, prior to everything and it doesn't get new every time something happens. He fleed and then he go, goes on and says, No, where am I? Be fleeing the Sape Pratimos. And he says details on it. Kach is close to Israel. So, and then there's a apology of Mount Intikto, a law of Russia. If God, you kill a wicked person, Banche Domin, Sui, many, and blood, bloody people are, are, are distanced from me. Komar Intikto, Russia, Bidini. If you kill a wicked person on account of my judgment, Yermos of Shaw, Akitoko, going to eat one of these two. He now is your man, Che Domin. Suri me many. If you would have killed them, I could have told the, the, the bloody people, go away from me. I wouldn't need them. Koshka is lazy, Mechaber, man, so I wouldn't connect to them. Koshka go live in Echel, the oldest is known to you. Hazel Hosam Amar, Chapreni Kel, the Dal of Avi. Analyze me and know my heart. In the Chenib Derkolam, and take me in the way of the world. Omar, Shetiash Kachosa Olav, that Hashem should have Mashgach upon him, the Derek Olam, Sheolech Bo. Um, in the way in which he goes through the world. That that which seems to be apparent in his way is inappropriate. And then Mubar, therefore, it's clarified. I saw the also Machrachas, I saw the least that's loose. Whoa. Um, one second. Where's the, where's the apology? Well, without saying the Atila inside, I can't fully understand this, but evidently the way he's saying that, understand the Atila is that Dov Malch is apologizing for what he did previously. That it was, you know, you didn't really. Uh, and if Hashem knew it, and Hashem's knowledge compelled him to do it, then he wouldn't have to apologize for anything. That's it. Okay. His back in Shloshim is my Zebu Mukhubam Paragazet. So these are the three principles of the knowledge of God. And that, that they were all, that, and that was what he wanted to explain in this parak. So we have the three principles, which are again that uh, Hashem knows everything. And that Hashem knows even things which are going to happen, and that his his knowledge does not compel uh, act, human activity, and therefore, if a person sins, he has to make an apology. Okay, we will stop here for today. One second. I will end the recording.